Hello, everybody. Good. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm good. Yeah, you're Sandra, right? Yes, Sandra. I I am new in class. I, this is your first day. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this, Welcome. In this program. Oh, in the program as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome. Uh, hi, everybody. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Good. Um, okay, welcome to the class. Uh, because of yesterday, I couldn't introduce myself uh, properly. I'm going to do that today. Uh, so my name is Diego Sandoval, and I'm going to be your facilitator for this class, uh, for this course. So first of all, I would like to share some, some rules with you um, that we are going to, to follow during the course. So let's, let me show you some of the rules. Um, okay. These are some some of the rules that you must follow during the in in session class. Can you see the screen? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, the first one is that you must connect uh, at eight o'clock, okay? I know that you are responsible and you are on time. And also turn your mic off unless you are participating. Uh, keep it like that because sometimes uh, there is noise around our houses. Uh, so we don't want to get distracted, so. If you uh, turn your mic off, the class will be developed uh, more fluently. Also, keep your camera on. It will help me uh, to interact. Um, it's not the same that to talk uh, just to picture, so we can interact. Uh, if it is not possible, don't worry. But please, if you can do that, Keep your camera on. Also, if you want to take notes, you can do that. Feel free to take notes. Um, if you want me to repeat something, uh, you can ask. And I will repeat, I will wait for you if you are taking notes. Or you can watch the video after the session, maybe the next day or during the weekend. Also participate actively. It, this is very important that that you participate and develop the exercises, uh, help your classmates, because this program is designed for you, for you to participate, for you to complete the exercise on the platform. Okay, and one of the most in important is to respect the other's opinions. When somebody talks, uh we used to make mistakes but when we make mistakes that that is normal it's part of the of the learning process so don't laugh because it's normal so we all make mistakes but that's that is normal it's okay guys it's okay 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 good um Okay, let's start. How many of them were yesterday in the class? Were yesterday class? Hello? Okay, can you hear me, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, did you come to the class yesterday? Yes. 
Yes, yes, I can. Do you remember yes, teacher. the topics that we studied yesterday? How introduce question? How to introduce uh, to uh, another people? To others? To yes. So we are going to review a little bit about yesterday class. So what we started yesterday was uh, WH questions, also uh, possessive adjectives. So I would like you to help me by providing me some examples using either WH questions or um, possessive adjective. Can somebody help me? You can uh, tell me a sentence and I'm going to write that in the presentation. My cell phone. My cell phone. And that is a possessive adjective, right? Yes. One more example, please. Someone else? Me. Okay, tell me. Uh, where do you live? Where do you where live? Do you... Yes, where? Okay, you, no. we use WH questions to get more information about others. Uh, what else? Uh, a different one. Remember, we can use what, who, how. Who? Oh. What is your what? cell phone number? What is your cell phone? What? Okay. Um, estaría bien. Who What's are true? you going to go to the uh, mall? To the mall. Wait, I see it. It will be who are you going? Mm -hmm. Are you going to go to the mall? To the mall with? Yes. Who are you going to the mall with? That, that is a good one. Uh, so one more, please. We can also yeah. use a uh, possessive adjective. Yeah. The, this is my father. This is my father. Okay, pay attention to this. Uh, in this one is like, uh, if we are going to introduce our father, but to express a possession, we use the apostrophe and the S, right? So we can say, this is my father's house. And that will be a possessive adjective. It's okay. Okay. This is my father's house. Yeah. Also, we can say, "This is my mom' uh, kitchen. This is my sister' bed," and like this. So, this is the recalling previous knowledge. That is. A, what we started yesterday. Um, yeah. Do you have one more example? One last example. She likes the English class. Repeat again, please. She likes the English class. He likes. Yes. Teacher, y la primera pregunta que aparece ahí que dice, what we studied, studied, 
yesterday, I, disculpe por la pronunciación, yeah. es está buena. O sea, se puede hacer así. What no did sería, you what yesterday? did we... Yeah, that, that, that's, that's right. That, uh, did we... What? Study. What did we study yesterday? Pero de la otra forma también estaba bien. It would no? be like, uh, this is for questions. And what uh, we studied yesterday is like an <coughs> statement. An statement. Uh, a normal, normal sentence without question mark. Uh, like I say, what we studied yesterday was uh, WH questions. That would be the correct use, but thank you for correct me. Uh, thank you for paying attention. Okay, let's continue in, in where we left the class yesterday. I'm going to share the platform. So you tell me if you can see the, the platform. Yes, I do. Okay, uh, we left it in the uh, 1.13. Uh, can somebody help me read the objective, please? Maybe, uh, let me see. Brenda, can you read the object, objective, please? Yes. Dice, in this lesson, no sé cómo pronunciarlo. In this lesson, participants will be able to read yes. an article and to answer some comprehensions question comprehension question thank you in this lesson participants will be able to read an article an article and to answer some comprehension questions so what we are going to do is to read uh, a piece of information and then we are going to uh, answer uh, some questions so let me change to the presentation because i have the the picture in there let me know if you can see if you can read the the text yes yes is, is the text so clear is is the size is, is clear, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So let's do something. One of you is going to help me reading the text until here. From me. Okay. Okay. Who who says me? What's what's in in a name? Okay. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are jo Jacobs <clears throat> for the boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Names can become popular because of famous actor, TV or book character or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, sur surprisingly people generally agree on the way they feel about name. Here, here are some common opinions about name from a recently survey. Boys' names, George, Average, Boring. Jacobs, Creative, Friendly. Michael, Good, Looking, Athletic. Stanley, Nerdy, Serious. Girls' names, Very, All, Fashioned. Average, Emily, independent, adventures. Jane, 
ain't ordinary. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinion can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the George and Berries out there. Okay, thank you, Rafael. Rafael, right? Yes. Thank you, thank you, Rafael, for reading. Okay. So, did you understand the what is the text about? What is the article about? What is the article trying to say that? What is the the article trying to say to us? I understand about this is uh, so, some people. Uh, um, name uh, your child for tradition and, and the meaning of the of the names. Yeah, the article said that most people call the children uh, after a family member. For example, uh, my brother's name is Rene because my grandfather' names was. Rene as well and also my name is Diego because my father uh, used to watch Diego Armando Maradona so he decided to call it me Diego so it's, it's for tradition and some names are very common like George and also Betty in here in El Salvador it's very common Jose or Maria in the past. Those are names that are very common. Um, also, names has a meaning. For example, George, uh, average, and boring. Uh, that may be true or false, but not all, all George are like that. And it says that Jacob are creative friendly and Michael good looking and athletic Stanley nerdy serious and also girls names for example Betty is old fashioned average Emily independent adventurous Jane plain ordinary and Nicole beautiful and intelligent so people used to give the names a meaning but not always is, is like that. So guys, let me ask you, do you find some words that are difficult for you to pronounce in this article? Sort of surprising. This one. That, yes. Okay. It's uh, it's characters. Okay. Is it average? Average. 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 Okay. The significance. So, average is like a promedio in Spanish. Promedio. It's like intermedium. It's average. 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 Yeah. Maybe mediocre. No. For example, um. The average age of this class may be uh, 30 or 35. It's like an in, in a low level, then we have the average level and the high level. So average is in the intermedium, in the intermediate place. It's like um, common. Say it, saying that word in Spanish is, um, is the, uh, let me, let me, let me see. Um, is the promedio, okay? Como cuando nosotros decimos, ¿cuál es el promedio de edad? El promedio de edad de esta clase 
podría ser entre los 35 o 40, algo así. Average is promedio in Spanish. Ok. Another word, surprisingly. Okay, surprisingly. 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 Is easy, even for me, is something difficult. But it's like uh, something that we don't expect, like a surprise. Okay. 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 That's it. Another word. Athlete. Eh, bueno, atleta. Excuse me, teacher. Eh, ¿Qué significa surprising? Surprisingly. Yes. Is something that is not expected. Something that you don't expect. For example, like a surprise. Uh, sorpresivamente. In Spanish. Okay. And athletic. Who say, who ask athletic? Atlet, no sé cómo se pronuncia, si es Atlet, pero eh, el plural que aparece ahí después de character. Character or athletes. At, an athlete is like uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, people who practice a sport. Like Messi, like LeBron James. They are athletes. Okay. People who practice sports. And character is uh, like famous persons, like a character in, in a movie. Do you know a famous character from a movie? For example, Johnny Depp. He's a character from Piratas del Caribe movie. He's Jack Sparrow. Yeah in that movie so that is a character and that's why people used to call uh children with those kind of, of names because they are they are famous okay after the the, the reading of this we are going to answer the questions so let me share the questions over there. So what we are going to do is try to remember what the article says about names. Okay, it's this one, I guess. Uh, it's not this one. Okay, let me find the questions. Because by mistake, I move the, the screen. Okay, this one. In here we have some questions and we are going to answer at a, as a whole class. In, in, uh, you are going to help me. So the first question. Your name is part of your identity. Is that true or false? True. Based on the article. Okay, it mentions that names are part of our identity. Number, number two, and that is true. You said that is true. Then we are going to check. Number two, uh, people often feel the same way about a particular name. It, uh, that is, is that true or false? True. 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 Remember, yes. Um, 
remember this word. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about the names, about names. So it's a true statement that this one is true. Number three, boys' names are more popular than girls' names. False. 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 What is false? What is that false? False. Three. Three. False. False. Why? Teacher. Why is false? Oh, Por false. <laughs> Because the article didn't mention it, it's, it's not included in the article. That that information is not in the article, so it's false. Uh, number four. Number four. People are are often named after a family member. Two. True. 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 Okay. True. Also, opinions about names can change. True. 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 Why? Why can opinion about a name can change? True. Porque después de puede depende la forma en que esté puede cambiar. Yeah, maybe. Also, yes, yes, and because imagine your son, uh, he becomes famous, so many people will admire him, and many people will call the, their children after your son because he is famous. Yeah, we don't know, we never know, so that's why names can change. Opinions about names can change. So let, let's check. Good. Number one, two, three, four, five are good. Okay. Good job, everybody. Uh, so far, do you have any questions about this uh, particular topic? or any question about vocabulary? No questions? No question. No. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Let me ask you, did you advance in the platform? How yes. many of you? Cool, yes. uh, advance. So you for me, uh, session two until session two. Yes, this one. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. That that's that is very very good for you. So when we come to the class, we discuss what you have already uh, studied in the platform. That will be easier for you. To understand. Okay, let me see. A uh, volunteer to read the objective, please. Me, teacher. Me in this lesson. Sylvia or Alba. Oh. Who said? Alba. Alba, teacher. You said for, okay, Alba. Alba, please. Okay, in this lesson, participants will listen. To conversation about jobs, using why question words is well and uh, statements. 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 Yes. In this okay. lesson, in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question mm. uh, words as well as statements. Statements. Statement. Statement. Statements. Statements. Do you know what is a statement? Statements. 
Oración. Statements. Yeah, in Spanish is uh, is oración, but in English is is something that is true. Okay. For example, my teacher is blue. That is a statement. Also, my cell phone is uh, purple. Something that is true. Okay. That is a statement. Okay, let's listen to the audio and the video. Yes. Okay, let's do one thing. Can you see clear the, the text? Yes. Yes. Okay, I need two volunteers. One will be Jason and the no. other will be Andrea. Actually, yes. Yes. Okay, Manuel. Puedo ser Andrea? And oh. Silvia? Yes. You want to be Andrea? Okay. Okay, Man Manuel will be Jason and okay. Silvia will be Andrea. Okay. So please read the conversation. Okay, okay. one, two, three, action. Where did you work, Andrea? I work uh, at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people and tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast in in a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Okay, very good job, guys. Ah, uh, very good. So, did you recognize all the the vocabulary in the conversation? Mm. Yes, yes. Or there is a word that, that you didn't know. A new word for you. Which? Which? Uh, this one. Which restaurant? Yes. It's, it's almost the same when you say what? What restaurant? You are asking. It's quiet. Yes. Which restaurant? Thank you. And do you know what is a part-time job? <laughs> medio <laughs> tiempo. Or, or uh -huh, medio tiempo. Yeah. That uh, you don't work the whole day. And this expression, how interesting. Teacher. Okay, tell me. Um, donde dice Andrea, I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Eh, se entiende, no es necesario agregarle agencia de viaje. Se entiende solo con travel. Yes, because of the word travel, we know that it's an agency. It's like a, a company. Inglés, no es necesario. Pues no. no, it's not necessary because it's the proper name. Thomas Cook Travel is the name of the company. Mm, okay. Is understood. Uh, uh, how about this expression? How interesting. What is oh, the meaning? How oh, interesting. Que interesante. Que interesante. Yeah. Que interesante. Que interesante. That's the meaning. And heaven, hamburger heaven. What is the meaning mm -hmm. of heaven? Es un nombre propio. Cielo. Cielo. Yeah. Hamburger Heaven is a proper name, but heaven means like the paradise. So just look at the hamburgers with wings and this. I don't know how to to pronounce that in, in English. It's like an Oriola, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Halo. An halo. Halo. Okay. Halo. okay. Let's 
listen to the original audio in the video. So let's check pronunciation and uh, and the conversation in general. Okay, let's begin. Hi everyone, welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. No escucho, Oh, I'm sorry, I was in mute. Uh, I was asking you if you have any question about the video. Do you have any question about the video? No, no, no. sure. Okay, no, everything, no, every, thank you. Everything clear, okay. Okay, next section, uh, can somebody help me with the objective, please? Me, teacher. Manuel, right? By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Okay, good. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Okay, do you know what is the simple present used for? Let me show you. Yeah, I have this. We use do? Simple present. Yes, sometimes we use do. So I have a quick reference about the simple present. And it said that we use the simple present to talk about habits or regular activities and situations is something that we do regularly regularly in, in a day like in a daily routine for example i usually get up at 7 uh, 15 so we use simple present the bear get up is in simple present and as well, she likes uh, white wine. She likes with S at the end because she's a third person. We use the S at the end of the bear when we talk about a third person. And also we use the simple present for things that are generally, generally or always true. For example, waters boils at a hundred degree um, at one hundred degrees. Okay, it rains a lot in in Gales. It rains a lot in Gales. That is something that that is true. As well as I was telling you in the third person. In singular affirmative, the verb has a final S. For example, the manager arrives first, arrives with S at the end. He starts work before eight. So remember this, when there is a third person, either he she or it after the main bear we use uh we add an s 
at the end of the verb. So is it clear? That is very important for you to remember. Yes, it's clear. So, it's clear. Always in simple present. That is a rule that we can change. In a meter, if you uh, forget the S, uh, it will be, um, it will cause uh, that you don't get the point in the question. If you forget the, the S, when there is third person for the simple present. Okay. And also for answers, we use uh, the verb be and also the question, for example, for your answer, are you English? Or it may be, are you Salvadorian? Yes, I am. And also, do you speak English? Yes, I do. Uh, this is very important, guys. Let me show you. When we ask a word, I mean, when we ask uh, a question we using do, the answer will be always with do. For example, in this, in this, uh, in this question, do you speak English? Yes, I do. Is not yes, I am, or yes, I speak. No, is do. Yes, I do. For example, uh, Brenda, do you work on Mondays? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's simple. When the answer is start, I mean, with when the question start with do, we answer with do as well. And Manuel. Can you hear me, Manuel? Of course. Do you? Mario Manuel. Manuel Orellana. In this case. Yes. Okay. Do you like uh, soccer? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. And the other Manuel. Uh, do you like basketball? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, or yes, uh, or I mean, or no, I don't. When yes, I do. When it's uh, negative. What uh, is your yeah. your favorite favorite team, Manuel? My favorite my favorite team is uh, dance. In basketball. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, it's uh, me confundí. <laughs> okay, in basketball. No era. No era in basketball, so, uh, I I know I don't like. So you don't like basketball. Okay. Uh, yes. And for soccer, what is your favorite team? Soccer, I don't like to. You don't like soccer. Yes. What sport do you only, like? Only, only, only sport. Uh, so, no, ningún, ningún deporte me gusta. Any sport. <laughs> any sport. Okay. That's right. <laughs> okay, that, that's okay. We respect that. So, any questions about this, the use of do? No. Or about the use of simple present? No. Before we go to the video, Okay, no questions, so let's go to the video. Okay, let me play the video. Okay, listen, pay attention, one, two, three, action. 
By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use Simple Present. Simple Present WH Questions and Statements What do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. Okay, I'm sorry. The we are going to discuss the the questions. The first one, uh, what do you do? And the answer, uh, in the answer, we use uh, the verb be. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part time job. Uh, where do you work? I work at or in a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. And this one, we use does um, when there is a third person in the subject. For example, where does Andrea work? We use does in, instead of do. And look at this. She works at Thomas Cook Travel. She works with S at the end. And in here as well, for she, what does she do? What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. Look at this. She takes with S at the end. And how does she like it? She loves it. How does she like it? She loves it with S at, at the end of the verb. Okay. Any questions about this information? Teacher, when no. you when you when when we use at or in in this one I work at mm -hmm. or in a restaurant. Teacher, but, please but, uh, Spanish. Okay. <laughs> we, nosotros usamos at o in uh, cuando hablamos de un lugar. Por ejemplo, at the restaurant, in a restaurant, es lo mismo. Pero generalmente, cuando estamos hablando de un lugar, usamos at. Por ejemplo, at the hospital, at the beach, uh, at school, at home. Cuando hablamos de un lugar, en general, usamos at. Okay. okay, it's clear. In este caso, teacher, pero in este caso, uh, donde ponían a uh, word at, at or mm -hmm. in, es porque era un restaurante específico que quería decir, pero le puede poner las dos cosas. Sí, en este caso, las dos son correctas: at y también in. Mm -hmm. Así okay. como también podemos decir at my house or in my house. Entonces, y aquí en she works uh, at Thomas Cook Travel, podía haber ido in. Sí, también. Es lo mismo. Por eso le aparecen aquí las dos opciones. At and in are the same. We can use both. Podemos usar cualquiera de ellas. Mm -hmm. Ok. Is it clear? Any other question? No, same. And aquí le voy a explicar. Esto creo que ya lo han visto. Uh, el verbo do 
para tercera persona es dos. Para él, ella y eso usamos dos. No usamos do. No decimos where do Andrea work. Nosotros decimos where does Andrea work. Y en este caso work. Incluso cuando es tercera persona no le agregamos la S. Porque ya tenemos dos. Que este es el auxiliar principal. Where does Andrea work? Y en la respuesta, en este caso sí le agregamos la S. She works at, at Thomas, I mean, Thomas Cook Travel. She works at, at Thomas Cook Travel. Porque aquí ya es la respuesta. Aquí era la pregunta. Y como tenemos el auxiliar dos, dos, esto nos modifica el verbo principal. Y ya no le agregamos la S porque es pregunta. Igual en este caso, what does she do? What does she do? Do uh, en dos son el mismo verbo. Solo que en este caso usamos dos porque estamos hablando de una tercera persona. En este caso, she. En... Aquí en la respuesta, she's a guy. She takes people on tours. She takes, es el verbo principal y le agregamos la S. Ok, ¿es claro? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, ok, let me see. Who can give me an example? Making a question using a third person. She wants to buy uh, high heels. She wants to buy high heels. She wants, ajá, uh -huh. it's a statement. Estamos hablando uh, de algo que, que ella quiere hacer. So we, we say she wants. Where does she study English? Where does she study English? Okay, good question. And the answer will be she studies. She studies English at school, for example. So always keep that in mind. Remember the use of do when there is a third person we use does okay are you sleepy are, are you tired no <laughs> yes it's <laughs> almost night uh, did you have dinner already yes yes okay. i haven't have dinner After the class, I will have dinner. <laughs> so let's continue. It's almost time. This more. I'm sorry. So in Teacher, here, tell me. Buen provecho, se dice bon appetit. Uh, bon, ap Any... bon appetit, I guess is in Italian. Yes. Uh, when we want to say buen provecho in, in English, is it says uh, enjoy your meal. Es que si me dijeron una vez. <laughs> bon appetit. Uh, bon, ap bon appetit is in Italian, I guess. In Italiano. But in English, we say enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Okay, I saw that somebody were working in here and there are some examples. Can you read these questions? For example, where do you live? What school do you study in? Where do you work? Uh, what is your wife's your wife name?
who were that? Who were in this? Simple person. I didn't. Okay. Though this is very, very good for you to do, like leave a uh, comment. When you are practicing, you can to make your own examples and write them over there in the discussion section. Okay. Okay. So, el que vino aquí escribió esto, lo felicito porque está, está practicando y escribió sus propios ejemplos usando el contenido que estaba en el video. Ok. Y eso es bueno que ustedes eh, decidan por su cuenta venir y tomarse el tiempo en la plataforma. Ok, uh, let's finish the video because I, I make a little comment about that. Let's continue. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have, go, have, he, she, works, takes, works, studies, takes, teaches, studies, does, teaches, Goes, does, has, goes. Now that you have the video. Okay, let's go to this section. In this case, uh, when we use I and you, we use the regular verb. For example, I work, I take, I study, I teach, I do, I go, I have. We use the regular verb. But when we uh, use the verb with a third person, she or he, we add the S at the end of the verb. For example, she works, she takes, she studies, she teaches, she does, she goes, and she has. Aquí cuando usamos tercera persona le agregamos la S al final del verbo. Y cuando termina en... O, oh, por ejemplo, like do and go, we le agregamos la E y la S. E y S. Igual cuando termina en CH, agregamos la E y la S. Cuando termina en Y, agregamos la I latina, la E y la S. Cuando son estos... Um, verbos en particular study, teach, do uh, go y también have para tercera persona es has for example I have a car my sister has a car aquí cambia en tercera persona el have have uh, indicates indicates possession Is it's okay, guys? Okay. 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 So remember this always. When we use simple present, and if you are going to use this uh, verb, uh, remember to add the S at the end if that is for third person. Okay, let's play the video. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you notice the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and thus for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word, 
plus auxiliary plus a subject plus the verb in its base form plus complement plus question mark. Ok, ¿entendieron esta parte? Yes. Yes. In this case, yes. We... yes. Ok. Mm, yes. Para ir finalizando la clase, eh, nosotros usamos do cuando hablamos de I, you, we, and they. And we use does para referirnos a la tercera persona. He, she, it's... or it. Ok, it's a little different, but in English it's very important that you know how to use that correctly. So, okay, it's 9 p.m. Uh, we are going to finish uh, the class for today. Uh, thank you for coming. And if you can advance in the platform, you can do that. And like uh, today, if you have any question or doubts, you can write in the group chat. Pueden hacer sus comentarios en el grupo si desean. Eh, cualquier duda o algo los podemos ayudar. Así como hicimos ahora, entre todos ah, resolvimos algunas ah, preguntas que tenían algunos compañeros. Así que si pueden ayudar o si pueden avanzar, tienen preguntas o cualquier cosa, lo hagamos en el grupo. Ok. So, that is all for today. Thank you guys for coming and have a nice uh, evening. Teacher, teacher. Teacher, sí, eh, teacher, hasta el lunes nos vamos a ver. Sí, sí, hasta el lunes. Las clases son de lunes a jueves. Ok. De 8 a 9, ok. Y cuando sea el periodo de vacaciones le vamos a avisar. Porque creo que empiezan la, la primera semana de agosto. Ok, teacher. Ok. Okay. Okay, thank, thank you for coming. You. Have a good thank night. You, teacher. Good night. Bye, good night. teacher. See you later. Have a good night. Thank bye. you. Bye. 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 Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. bye.